Peter Chow here. You want to see the highlights to Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton? Well, we're going to talk about that a little later. But first, Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton, did they really deserve to be in the SummerSlam main event? Well, guess what? I created a freestyle rap on Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton. So let's get to the diss track right now. Lesnar is a steroids machine Randy Orton eager to please by destroying the beast Unleashed, who's unleashed because of drugs Usada, if he takes any more he'll die like Umaga Orton and Lesnar both have violated wellness In the main event called SummerSlam that needs no titles The other matches are a bunch of smaller dudes If they fight right for real he'll eat them just like who the next exit is A couple miles out, Viper Bill ain't far but sounds too lame to say out loud What the fuck is Viper Bill? That's a stupid ass shit creative dumb Fucked up again, writing shit that don't make sense. Don't make sense. So yeah, that's my freestyle on the motherfuckers known as Brandy Orton. Oh wait, Brandy Orton? <laughs> I mean Randy Orton and Brock. Lesnar. Do you think that the WWE as a publicly traded company is making the right choice in allowing someone like Brock Lesnar who is known for violating the drug policy while competing for the UFC? Do you think that it's right that they're allowing someone like Brock Lesnar main event the biggest party of the summer while at the same time suspending Eva Marie who filed in late paperwork for something that she actually needs? According to Eva Marie, she suffers from ADHD in which she has to take a drug called Adderall. Adderall helps suppress Presses ADHD. Now she filed in the paperwork late, granted that is wrong. Here you have somebody who has openly failed a test with USADA, competed and cheated in the UFC, defeating Mark Hunt, Brock Lesnar, and Eva Marie, who is competing in her first Divas title match at the biggest party of the summer, who no longer gets that opportunity. Why? Because she filed in late paperwork to suppress a disease that she actually has. Brock Lesnar, however, took a testosterone blocker. What does that do? It hides the fact that you've been taking and abusing drugs to enhance your performance. Now Randy Orton is no saint when it comes to the wellness policy, violating that shit about two to three times, but WWE doesn't care. They have a double standard. If you make the company money, sure, do as many drugs as you want to. Go the fuck ahead. We don't give a shit. You're in the main event of our car. You're making us money. I don't care what drug you take as Vince McMahon. Man, that's all I give a shit about. Which I think is sending the wrong message to the rocker room. You have Brock Lesnar coming in getting paid 20 times the amount as any other superstar who are working over 300 nights a goddamn year and you have this motherfucking white monkey coming in working what? One to two matches a year? Getting paid five million dollars? Perhaps even more? Letting him abuse drugs? Giving the company a bad name? Go Vanira Guerrera FAT it up for you. <laughs> But that, that, that's besides the point. My freestyle was a little bit of a diss track on Brandy Orton. But it's true, Brock Lesnar is a legitimate athlete. Whether he took the drugs to enhance his performance or whether it was to enhance his appearance, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, Brock Lesnar is going to make the WWE a boatload of money. And if it takes running through Tuesday night's most valuable superstar in Randy Orton, well then so be it. Because after this match, Brock Lesnar will be nowhere to be seen until the build to WrestleMania. However, Randy Orton will be staying behind to make sure that the Tuesday night brand is alive and well. Randy Orton will job to Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar will maintain his strong, powerful arm going into Royal Rumble, going into WrestleMania. And Randy Orton will lose but come back, get his heat back by defeating The Miz like six or seven times on Tuesday nights and be fine. Right now, Vince McMahon doesn't really give a shit about anybody except for Brock Lesnar. As long as Brock Lesnar is kept strong, Vince McMahon cares about the Vanilla Guerrera more than his own children. Brock Resner very likely, as you're watching this video, has already ran over the competition. In this case, Randy Orton. Who will Brock Resner face at Royal Rumble? Who knows? Who will Brock Resner face at WrestleMania? Who knows? But let me know in the comment section below who you want to see Brock Resner face. Who? 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 You decide. Until next time, thank you very much for watching the full match highlights to Brock Resner versus Randy Orton. And by the way, if you're unclear, the highlights were Brock Resner mows over Randy Orton by taking him to Suplex City, beating him for the one, two, three. Those are the highlights. Until next time, stop drinking the haterade. Give this video a boom thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. And start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao, sa, motherfucker. All right, Peter Chow. There, on your next elevator ride, face the back wall. Hold it. Release. Come on. Damn. <laughs>
Come on, just swipe up. Hold it. Catch them all. All right, Peter Chow. 